What's up guys, Looney here, and this is a video that's me showing my drifting setup on the S13. I didn't really show it on any other cars because it's mainly the, mainly the same, not the same setup, but the same way I tune. This video is basically for Venture X38. He asked me if I could make a video showing how my setups are and or what works for me basically, and this is what works for me. Um, I changed my UI and R Factor if you're wondering why it looks awesome. <laughs> but um, here I, I load my tune. This is my setup. I try to use uh, gears that work. I don't really go specifically on real life or things like that. I just use what works. Um, and I use tires that have a lot of grip. I will say that. Um, and I tune really just like I would in Forza with higher numbers and some things. Like the front's always stiffer than the rear on the anti rolls and in the rebound and the bump. Um, oh, and for rebound, whatever you set your rebound, do half of that for your bump. So, like, say your rebound's 14, you're going to do your bump at 7. And that's for fast and slow rebound and fast and slow bump. So, and I use soft springs, like really soft springs. And uh, the drifting was kind of awful. I will, I will say it's awful because um, I was getting frame. Like, you guys don't see it in these videos, but I don't know what it is with our factor I get frame rate like crazy when I try and drift or whatever, so it, it's just bad. Uh, wow, the game looks different now that I look at it like this. I turned anti-aliasing off for better performance, and the track looks fake. Let's, let's put it that way. Oh, if you're wondering what that is on the right, that, that's, a, that's a map plug-in. Like, so there's there's some tracks that I don't know, like I've never drifted before, and that map plug-in will basically tell me what corner's where, how the corner is, things like that. So that's why I have that map plug-in. I can, I can turn it off, but I just didn't think about it. So sorry if that's annoying, but, um, what was I, oh, tuning, for camber, I always go, like, negative 0.5 on the rear, unless it's an underpowered car, if it's an underpowered car, then I go, like, 1 or 1 1.5, uh, negative, of course, on the rear, and for the front, I mean, the front varies, it just depends on how much grip the front end has, like, if the front end has a lot of grip, and I don't really want to feel it, then I put more negative camber, if it, if it doesn't, I don't put this, if, if, it has the grip, but you don't feel it, and you want to feel it more, like for it to be responsive, I guess, uh, you put less front camera. But I wouldn't go below negative 2, probably, uh, and I wouldn't go above negative 4.5, negative 5. I wouldn't go above that, uh, but that's just me. Oh, um, by the way, this is me drifting on a new firmware after like 30 minutes, um, and with like my wheel turning a lot more than normal uh, like my wheel is always doing at least a full rotation now in like almost every car so oh and I'm on new firmware because my other firmware didn't make my wheel spin fast enough with the new sensitivities and don't worry about it anyway drifting wasn't good that's that's point blank um, <clears throat> so I guess that's that's really what works for me um, I, I try to tune the cars like I, I guess I'm assuming that this guy knows how to tune and he just seems know what works for me um so i always tune the car for what the car needs like it doesn't need a front more or doesn't have enough front grip and i put you know tune for more front grip or it doesn't have enough grip in general i'll tune for more grip like i just i just do different things and that's just me uh i i, I really do i tune just like i would in forza um it just the, the numbers are higher that's the only difference so um, if you really want to see how I how I tune and, and what I do, then go watch my Forza vids and kind of transfer that to this. Especially the design on the slide on this, because those vid, vids where I videos, vids, whatever you call them, where I actually tune cars, and you see what I do as a base, and then you see what I do at the end for what the car needed. Um, so if you want if you want really more of a of a explanation, I guess, go watch the design on the slide on videos. Um, that's really all I can say. Uh, oh yeah, I added offset to the S13. Actually, added offset to the R34, the S13, the S14, the Mad Mike Clark 7, and the regular FD. Uh, I added offset to all those cars, and it looks awesome. Especially on Mad Mike, because then it makes the, the wheels flush with the fenders, and it just looks cool. So, yeah. Oh, if you want to know how I got the window stickers, I got them from the JDM Factor Facebook page, and from, from Jason in the file section. I think Jason made them, so thanks to him for the stickers because they were cool. Um, but I'm not really sure what else to say. I don't know. I thought I was going to have more to talk about, but I guess not. So, 
Yeah. Oh, and I never really use anything other than RB and S13 because uh, I haven't tried the 1J with 400 horsepower. I might try that later on because I know it's good in the chaser, but I haven't tried it yet. And I sometimes put a V8 in it. So yeah, that's that. But my main car is 32 in this. How oh, cliche, 32. Uh, I just I, I like it. I love it. It's like with the new update that was not do it with the new physics and everything. It's great. Baljeet is I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if I'm incorrect. Baljeet is working on it, getting uh, some plugs out, and he got more steering lock on it, which is insane. He got 70 degrees from the latest photo I seen, or I saw I seen. Wow, well, I seen yeah, the photo I seen. That, that makes so much sense. He had 70 degrees of lock, which is insane. But I think the video. Yeah, it's coming to a close, so I'm going to go ahead and say this. Um, what am I saying? Oh, I don't know what I'm saying, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, excuse me for being stupid. I woke up too early today. Um, oh, oh, my name. Ooh, I got that in the next video. I'll explain my name in the next video. That'll be up later. So, uh, what, what, oh, I go in here and show my wheel settings, I, I assume. Yeah, I show my wheel settings and my rates and stuff, but... Uh, oh, I think it's giving me the time to explain my name. My new name is Looney Kiss Dory. Dory stands for Dory Futo. Drift, if I hope I pronounced that right. Which means drift in Japanese, I want to say. So, that's that. If you want to know what my new name is. I know it sounds... Fun. I think it sounded cool and funny. If you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. But it's probably going to stay that way. Um, oh, if you want to link people to my channel, it's still going to be linked to Sanction Cinema. So, just so you know. Anyway... If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment telling you what you thought. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me on R Factor and other games, because I might post some more DayZ later on. Hope you guys will watch it if I do, because um, DayZ is pretty fun. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I am going to go now. So that's that. Bye, guys.